to Liz and Jessie's undiscovered country. We're on a hill! It's the highest of England. What? Hey, what did you say? We're go! What? From this point, we begin our... You might be not Look at this hill. Hill. Get killed! Oh. Come on, come on! Hello, I'm Jessie. And that's Liz. And this is our undiscovered country. Our first mission on Undiscovered Country finds Liz and Jessie at the seaside. Now, the seaside for you may mean sunburn, wasps, and nasty local children bullying smaller, more helpless children staying in a holiday but cottage. But to Liz and Jessie, it means something entirely different. One word. Falklands. Brighton, Blackpool. Skegness are writ large on the nation's consciousness. Strong, thriving seaside meccas. But since the 1970s, when British people started to go abroad and, and discovered that summer holidays could be fun, most British seaside resorts merely faded away, lost in the void of history. Others vanished much more abruptly. One such resort is Royal Tiny India. Now, our story begins in 1892 with Edward, the Prince of Wales, a decadent playboy who invented going to the seaside for fun. Wales Seville built me an India, a tiny India. Your Majesty, a what? A tiny India in Britain. I want elephants and lions and tigers and monkeys. Oh, and servants wearing impossibly camp costumes. <laughs> You'll need to find a suitable location. Any suggestions? Impossible, stupid, insane. What did you say? Ah, oh, an inspired idea, Your Majesty. Now, I, I was thinking of Brighton. May I suggest we think a little beyond Brighton, Your Majesty? I mean, there already is a Brighton, and it's well known it's not in India. To be sure, to be sure. Royal Tiny India needs to be built somewhere politically pointless that no one's heard of and where nobody wants to go. Now, now then, be actually be a place up on the northeast coast. Northeast coast? What's that? Well, it's a coast and it's on the northeast. But I thought we was an island. We are. Well, what's an island doing with the northeast coast, for heaven's sake? Well, that's why we have a northeast coast. I mean, it's a wild and vulgar place, Your Majesty. Sounds perfect. A village. Immingham. East Yorkshire. I mean, not to cause offence, but it's a truly horrid part of the world. Does anyone live there? Oh, no one important. I mean, 60 families, fishermen and labourers and such. Well, like you say, no one important. <laughs> By royal decree, the fisherfolk and labourers of Immingham will be gainfully employed in the demolition of their own houses, the building of royal tiny India, working as slaves and pretend animals. You can't do that. Our family have lived here for generations, fishing and labouring. Well, it's the law, I'm afraid, including the bit about making funny noises and silly dances. Make a game of it. You're joking. Uh, that's the spirit. Now, the villagers will need to wear one of these from now on. Well, freeze. This is East Yorkshire. I'll not do it. None of us will. Oh, we'll not bow to no German prince's opulent whim while ordinary men and women are set to starve. Fair enough. Sergeant at arms. Sir! They're in squad! So, Royal 
tiny India was built, a royal resort that covered nearly 25 acres with golden spires and a, a tropical jungle with tigers and stuff. Sitars, Chotapeg, Polo, quite literally the subcontinent of India, but in England, somewhere north of Scarborough. Sounds like a big fat lie. But it isn't. It's as if royal tiny India has just disappeared from the face of the earth. Now, we had a clue. A text message from our renowned researcher, Ewan Aspinall Delgado. But strangely, nobody's heard hide nor hair of him since. Now, the hunt is on for Royal Tiny India! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Are we just going to waste that hedgehog? Oh, for God's sake, Liz, get out of the way, come on! Next time on Undiscovered Country... Liz, get out of the bloody road! Sorry about that! Look who the cat dragged in. Lady Hernandez. Unspeakable. We are making the big television programme documentary. We are looking for the lost seaside place of Royal Dine India. Mm -hmm.